Hello everyone, Paul Tranny here, and I want to show you how you can make a small world like this in Photoshop. First thing we need to do is we need to get our photo. So this is the photo, get a landscape photo, take a photo, get something from Adobe Stock, which is where I got this. And the first thing you need to do is make sure the left and the right sides match up. So it's going to mean duplicating the layer flipping it, we'll flip it horizontally, and then just throw a layer mask on it. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's like throw a layer mask right there, and we just need to make sure the um, right matches the left. And we can spend as much time on this, kind of blending it together as we want, right? You get the idea. But we'll just do something like that. Looks pretty good. And once we have our landscape that's mirrored on both sides, we can take it, convert it to a smart object, okay? Now let's go ahead and make sure our canvas is the correct size. We're gonna make sure it's a perfect square. So we'll go up to image canvas size, and we'll just make sure uh, the width is the same as the height, right? So perfect square, there it is, right? Looks good. Uh, Command-T and we'll shrink this up. So we need to do two things. We need to shift and scrunch it up and then flip it over. It needs to be square and upside down because the polar coordinate I'm about to do is actually gonna happen from the top uh, center, right? But this is the main image I need. So it is a smart object. So it's gonna be able to stretch those pixels out without losing any quality. Uh, we'll go to, as you can see right down here, distort and polar coordinates. Select that rectangular to polar. Let's actually zoom out and see what that, oh yeah, that's exactly what we want. Okay, we'll click okay. And again, since we had those sides mirrored, we could see it stretches out, there's the tree, everything looks great, and that's how you make a uh, small world in Photoshop.